It's LR back for another video. Today we have the Mamba Rugged Hybrid Protective Case. This would fit the Nintendo OLED Switch and it's the Thunderbolt series. It's a soft cover, you could easily take it on and off. Bumps on both sides give you more grips. Also the material is grippy. It'll protect it from dust, scratch, also drops. Big enough cutouts for your speaker holes, charging port, also for the game card slot. And we got the Mamba cover for around $13. We put a link down below. So here's your barcode or serial number. So let's err it up. What's inside the box? You got the installation guide. And we have your protective case. Boom off. We have the Mamba name at the bottom. This is the Thunderbolt series. And this one's more of a glossy finish. I do like that texture. It is grippy compared to like a hard shell case but once you start using it you can see there's a little bit just scuffing in there so expect that to go everywhere raised corners on each side to give you more of a grip then we have the speaker cutouts and for your USB-C charging port we'll see if there's enough space in there just a quick look at the top you got the power and the volume buttons for your game card slot and this is flexible Inside the cover, it has like little dots, not the same texture as the outside, like smooth. This one has a little bit of a bumps to it. I'm trying to see if it gets fingerprints easily. I mean, my hands is fairly clean, but it looks like it's okay. I don't really see it. This is for your OLED switch. Let's go ahead and try it. Let's put it on. I just start from one side to the other, push it in. And with my thumb, just try to push it as much as I can, and then I just push. Very easy to put on. With the flexible material, I'm pretty sure this is easy to take off, but let's try it anyway. I always start at the corner first, pop it out. Yep. Easy to take on and off. You can even try, just try doing it this way. Yeah, look at that. It will give you that added grip, so when you're playing, that's nice. Also, I do like that rubber feel. You just have that extra grip in there. Cutouts at the bottom. Let's go ahead and get our plug. Plug it in. Plenty of space, no problem whatsoever. So they take it on and off. Some cases they kind of fail here. They make it a little too low so that you won't be able to plug it. But this one, no issue. What does everyone think of this case so far? Let us know. Let's see if there's space in there. If it gets caught. Nope. Big enough. It doesn't have any interference. And we have your shoulder buttons exposed. Now, can you slide it off? Yep. But this is just a little extra. How well does it hold the screen? doesn't slide off let's see if it falls forward yeah holds it pretty good the screen doesn't even go down some cases once you take the joy cons out it pretty much easily falls off the cover this one holds it pretty well i mean of course if you push it, it will move but it has a good amount of grip in there so it just won't easily slide off now with that exposed button it would have been nice if there's a little bit bump here to kind of protect your shoulder button so when you kind of put it down it's gonna hit it I really like that glossy finish. I mean, I know once you start using it, it'll be more scuffed up, but this looks nice. Front view. Now let's see. Okay, good. Very smooth because some cases they don't file it enough that this sometimes kind of gets caught on your skin, but this one is pretty smooth. Same at the bottom. Quick view on the side. Now there's no hole for any like lanyard. This case is not dockable, but we'll try it anyway. Yeah, it's too thick. Nope, it's not gonna work. Let's try the buttons again. It's okay. I mean, it's not super clicky, but you know, it's okay. Try the volume. It's very grippy. Let's go ahead and try it in one game. Nice and grippy. Let's go ahead and try it. Boost. Use this special time warp. Let's put a new game card in here this up no issues put this on let's just wait real quick this one weighs at 86 grams compared to like a subcase unicorn beetle pro this one's at 100 grams so mamba is a little bit lighter and of course if you want to match it with a carry case buy mamba as well there you go take this off if you want it more secure There. 
So just an FYI, my hands a little bit, fingers are a little bit greasy, and then yeah, you see those little grease marks in there. So that's your Mamba Thunderbolt series case. This is for your Nintendo OLED Switch, and it will protect you from dust, scratch, and drops. Soft, flexible TPU, easily take it on and off. Bumps on each side helps you hold it. Also with that texture, it makes it grippy. We got it for around $13. We'll put a link down below. Let us know which case you use or what do you think of this one. So let's hurry it up to another video.